St. Louis dropping, popping, popping, popping. Black, black bodies on the line. Let the creator elevate your mind. New hits like this, like this. But three, you're out, no mistake. That's the way the bitch break. My old man. Sleeping in his the dream. The redemption song by the V. Sometimes Nelson. grumbling and complaining, but always keeping on. A garden of fragrant flowers. Then you, woman child. Last poet, you know it. Flowering you know garden of my heart. And my heart opened to you. Pick it but up you ran away at your local neighborhood store. going on. Amber Bookstore sells books and other items specifically directed to the African-American community. While our subject matter is targeted, we welcome all readers and patrons with an interest in what we have to offer. Purchase your books online at www.amberbookstores.com. Visit with us when we're at the different community events in St. Louis, Missouri. Illinois, Minnesota, or wherever we are located, give us a call at 314-389-2595 or 314-604-3517. Amber Bookstore Books are also located at the Love Goddess located at 2839 Cherokee Street in St. Louis, Missouri, 63118. And also at Raheem's Beauty Shop at one one at 110 East Oak Street, Carbondale, Illinois, 62901. Some of the featured books are from the Projects to the Pyramids by Malik Ahmed. Mommy and Daddy, Do You Still Love Me Anymore? By French Air Gardner. Dancing in the Wings by Debbie Allen. Please Baby by Spike Lee and Tanya Lewis. Art of War by Sun Tzu. Stolen Legacy by George G.M. James. Cultural Genocide in the Black and African Studies Curriculum by Yosef A.A. Ben Yokan. African Holistic Health by Layla Africa. Heal Thyself for Health and Longevity by Queen of Food. How Not to Eat Pork or Life Without the Pig by Shahrazad Ali. Now into the end of Kwanzaa, get 10% off. Make sure you give us a call at 314-389-2595 or 314-604-3517. Welcome to another episode of a News You Can Use podcast. My name is French Air Gardner. I am the creator and host of the podcast. And I'm so grateful that you are tuning in live um, to the uh, episode today. We have an awesome business spotlight on the line today. We have Sean Connors, who is a black computer nerd, a single father, podcaster, Christian, iVad en enabled, sneakerhead, and foodie. He says, hashtag two up, two down. What's going on, Sean? How are you? I'm good. You got me out of my comfort zone today. I normally don't um, do Instagram live. Okay, see? I, well, I appreciate you. I um, usually do Zoom, but I'm trying something new today. So welcome to everybody who's tuning in with us live. How are you feeling today? I'm good. I actually had a friend of mine that also does podcasts, and he primarily does his over um, over live. Nice. Well, yeah, this is something new that I'm trying out, and um, hopefully, it's um, it'll it'll work itself out, and we get a um, get a lot of attention to your business. So, uh, tell us about yourself, Sean. Who are you? Um, you know, where you come from, where you, where you living now, and, and just give us some historical background about who you are. All right, I'm Sean Connors. I am the host and executive producer of two podcasts, The 757 Renaissance Man and Elvad Talks. Um, we'll get more into them later. But uh, I, I'm basically, I'm an East Coast kid. I, 
Uh, I grew up in Southern Virginia, what we consider the beginning of the South, 757, two up, two down. And um, raised a military kid, preacher's kid. Um, took an early interest into computers when I was like seven or eight. Uh, this is before people even had personal computers in their house and just took the ride with it. <laughs> nice. So, um, tell us more about your businesses. Well, primarily right now, um, I'm doing a media company where uh, we besides promoting the podcast, we have working on YouTube creation, um, um, media sources for small businesses. So if, let's say, you wanted an Instagram commercial, you would contract us and we'll take care of that for you. Nice. Yeah, man, we, 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 we must talk. <laughs> yeah. I dive and dabble in all things media. Um, photos, video, audio, anything in media. So what you got, what got you started in that? Um, I think I wanted to be a rapper. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and just, uh, you know, coming up in and out of the music industry, um, seeing different, I was more intrigued with the toys that people play with than the actual music itself, I think. Uh, I think that, um, it's a way that you can do a little bit of everything. I can make music when I want to make music. I can also film when I want to film. It's, it's, it's not being pigeonholed into having one, one project. I love one that. Style. I love that. I love the creative, the creative spirit in that. So tell us about your two podcasts, Sean. What's the well, names of them? Uh, first one is the 757 Renaissance Band. And basically, it's stories of uh, me, of friends of mine that I've grown up with in the area, uh, business people in the area. Um, mover, I like to say the movers and shakers in the 757 area. Um, if it's been coined, you know, uh, we're the land of something in the water um, where is, we have so much talent in so many areas that I'm trying to help spread awareness and not only spread awareness of our area, um, give people who have an important voice or something to say, an audience in our area. My second podcast is Elvad Talks. And Do you want to bring balance to all the wireless radiation fields in your life, including 5G? The Omnia Radiation Balancer is a small sticker you can stick on any device. It changes the state of the field and creates a new resonance between the wireless radiation and your energy field. On the link below, you'll see all our testing results that show how the body responds excellently once you've made this change in your life. Plus, you can enter the discount code BBE in capital letters for a 10% discount. It's easy to bring balance back to your body with the Omnia Radiation Balancer. A um, artificial heart, but it's portable. And mm. you always see me in pictures with the strap. The strap is the batteries that control my LVAD. So basically, LVAD Talks is a platform for people who have an LVAD, um, thinking about getting an LVAD, caregivers, uh, medical professionals, all to uh, give their knowledge, thoughts, and opinions on the LVAD device and how to make it um, easier for people who have one or people who take care of a person who has one wow now that's that's deep i i really like that now i started this podcast for kind of the same reasons to promote um melanated business owners because i feel like we didn't have we weren't getting enough shine so i definitely wanted a platform for us to get on here and and chat it up and tell and tell the world about our businesses because we're doing awesome things in the world. So I totally get where you're coming from with your 757. And the LVAD, that's that's totally personal. Yes. Nice. Yes. I always say the 757 Renaissance, man, is just a podcast I wanted to make. And LVAD Talk is the podcast I had to make. Mmm, that's powerful. And where can we, we uh, listen to the podcast? 
anywhere you get your podcasts, uh, Apple, um, Spotify, uh, iHeartRadio, um, YouTube. Just search for 757 Renaissance Man or Elvan Talks. Um, anywhere you get your favorite podcast, I should pop up. Nice. And so, um, that's exciting. How long have you been podcasting? Uh, I want to say I started dabbling with it in November and I got serious in January. Oh, man, that's awesome. You, you're you a newbie. Yeah. yeah. And well, it's, it all started from um, having a YouTube channel. Okay. And uh, it was a vlog-type channel. And COVID happened. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't be out and about and recording and, you know, taking trips and things like that. So I kind of got stuck in the house, and I was stuck in the house with this equipment. And I'm like, how can I use this equipment I already have and not lose my mind on COVID? And this is what it came about. Nice. Well, congratulations on the podcast. Um, they are really... Uh, doing their thing so i'm proud of you thank you and so i do want to acknowledge everybody that's came on to the live i want to thank everybody that's tuning in to the live um this is a news you can use podcast with our brother sean connors our business spotlight and um so i'm going to get to it i'm going to ask you um i have this this interview series uh that i created and um, it's basically to get into leaders' heads and find out what your motivations and inspirations are. Describe. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. Well, so describe yourself in three words. Mm. Eclectic. Um, intelligent and creative. What was that fleeting moment in your life? that catapulted you to your present self, but certainly could have really gone the other way? Um, I wanted to think, I, I had a heart attack six years ago, and that's what led me to know that I um, needed an LVAD. Um, during this time, uh, my wife, she passed away, but she had um, cancer. So we, we also had two young kids. So going through that and coming out of it and God bringing me out of that, let me know that there was more purpose for my life and there was a reason for me to be here and to cherish every single day. To me, every day that I wake up is a win. I don't care what happens during the day. Your car can get repossessed, but you're still here. So it's a win. And I try to do as much as I can in every 24 hours I'm blessed to have. Yes, and my condolences to you. Thank you. What are your nightly and morning rituals? Usually at night I'm editing podcasts. Uh, I usually edit, uh, I start, you know, the kids kind of settle down around 8, 9 o'clock. And that's when I can um, concentrate on editing the interviews that I've done the previous days. Um, I usually do that to me about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Then I have to wake up 8 o'clock, get in the daddy mode, make sure the kids are up, ready for school, logged in, paying attention, sitting at their desk. Um, and then we start, we usually go to the gym and then start interviewing all over again. Nice. Who should I interview next? Um... Let me think. Let me think. I just had a really good interview. Uh, There's a young man down here um, in the Hampton area. His name is Just Ed. He's an R&B singer-songwriter. And I can put you in touch with him. I think that would be a good interview for you next. Thank you. And I see down in the comments... Fox 83, Fox 38 said, interview me. I sure will, girl. Jump into my DMs. I will interview you and all of the melanated business owners on the uh, platform right now. Definitely interested in interviewing you and hearing your stories. Thank you. So who is your target audience and your self-proclaimed niche, talents, and our gifts? Uh, 
for the 757 Renaissance Man podcast, I think my target audience um, are people who are like-minded, like uh, creativity, love to eat, like to read, uh, pretty much better yourself and, and try new things and be open to new ideas. Um, my Elvad Talk podcast is primarily for um, healthcare providers or patients or caregivers of uh, people that have uh, an Elvad. You know, tips of how they can get through their life a lot easier. Um, good, good things to eat, good diets, um, issues with medicine, uh, relationships, any of that. Yes. What did the younger you envision, see, think, or was told to make you impact people the way you do? Oh, I had an interesting upbringing where uh, my father was a bishop, but he also was a lieutenant commander in the Navy. Okay. And that gave me opportunities to travel all over the world. Um, and just being able to be in a room, and a lot of times, quite honestly, the only brown face in the room, and being able to communicate and articulate and and fit in, uh, I think was a very important skill that helps me today. Nice. What is your favorite book, song, and quote? Oh, I think my favorite book is the autobiography of Malcolm X. Um, and that kind of gave me an insight of um, leadership and power when I was a kid. And I tend to go back to that. And that was like the first real major book I gave my daughter when she turned 13. Nice. Um, songs are so many. I love music. I... Don't even think I could pick a song. Top three. I don't even think I could pick pick a pick a, a genre because my taste is so broad. Uh, Can we do top three? Uh, top who? Top three songs. Top three songs. All right, let me think. We gotta have um, anything off the Michael Jackson off the wall album. I know that's kind of cheating, but anything off the Michael Jackson off the wall album. Um, wow, I need a hip hop song, so let's go with uh, Children's Story by Slick Rick. Nice, that's a classic. And then, since I'm a church boy, let's go with Tomorrow by the Wines. Tomorrow. Yes. Yes, that's a classic as well. So, um, we out here in the world. So, name two things you want to tell the world. Uh, first of all, listen to my podcast. You can catch it anywhere that podcasts are available. Um, and second, uh, don't forget that even because somebody's skin isn't like yours they're not human mm, that's real mm-hmm. are you a saver or a shopper and what are your financial strategies so I'm both I um, okay so financial strategies I'm just starting to learn about that I'm not the first perfect person to ask about that because <laughs> answer number one is I'm both I'm a saver and a shopper I yeah. love um, shopping, especially clothes, sneakers, stuff like that. But my thing is, I love getting the best possible thing at the lowest possible price. So that means hitting outlets, coupons, rebates, uh, the hookup, <laughs> whatever it takes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Does your key values? And life mission speak first to your race and then the world? Vice versa, or that is not a thought as you thought of yours as you live day to day? 
It has to be a thought of mine because I'm a black man. And no matter how I move in the world, I have to remember, or I'm always reminded that I'm a black man. So it affects the way I move, how I move. Um, it affects um, how I move around other people, how I'm perceived. Uh, one of the things that we don't have is the freedom to truly be ourselves in public. Hmm. Now, we can be ourselves around others, and others is like us, but at certain times when you kind of got to put that mask on and go out in public and to be seen a certain way. That's real. Mm -hmm. When you have something that's super important to you, what do you tell yourself to get pumped? Uh, if it's super important to me, I'm probably already pumped. Um, I'm very self motivated, and it doesn't. If it's something that I really want to do, it doesn't take much to do it. Nice. Name five people that you know that embody instrumental traits children should emulate. Five. Uh, okay, let's say. Okay. Him. Um, Catherine Johnson from um, the movie and the book Hidden Figures. Um, um, Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons. Uh, and for that matter, Spike Lee. And since I got one more, I'm going to say Jesus. <laughs> All right. Name five people that you know that are powerhouses in their industries. <clears throat> All right, let's run that back with Jesus. <laughs> um, Timberland, Missy, Magoo, and Pharrell, all from the Hampton Roads area. Um, and because I just named her a lot, I'm only going to say one more Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Uh, what is your website and your business name? Um, I'm working on a new website, uh, but my business name, I do business under Connors Media. But anybody can catch me, Sean Connors, anywhere. Instagram, Facebook, um, anywhere. Okay, that's that was my next question. How do we contact, how do we stay connected with you in your social media? I think I'm a little bit more most active on Instagram and that's all Sean, Sean Connors S-H-A-W-N-C-O-N-N-O-R-S no spaces and that's probably the easiest and quickest way to get me okay that's what's up and so I'm grateful for you Sean we met on Clubhouse and connected yeah. um, I might have been a it was a business room or a networking room or something like that and yeah. um, we I, I, I reson your story resonated with me and I reached out to you and, and, and the rest is history. Shout out to the boss experience on Clubhouse. Yes, sir. <laughs> Actually, I think that was my first night on Clubhouse. I stole my daughter's old iPhone and got in there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, Clubhouse is a great tool if you have an um, iPhone, iOS device. Uh, device definitely connect um on clubhouse is definitely a great tool so tell us um is there any other um any news that we should know uh any upcoming things projects you got coming up what what's what's, what's up with um uh, seven five seven interviews, renaissance more interviews more interviews uh, uh anybody in your listenership that feels that they can add to the conversation more than welcome to contact me um, hopefully, I am working on a deal where I can start recording um, shows in person. They're still going to be pre-recorded, but um, I'm talking to a couple of restaurants, so it can be like a sit-down type show. Oh, I love it. That sounds exciting. Yeah, I got all this equipment. I might as well use it. You might as well. You might as well. So our last segment, Sean, is uh, Mining for Diamonds. 
And I ask that you drop two more gems for entrepreneurs or aspiring business owners. It's up to you. Don't fall into all these traps that you gotta have this, you gotta have that. Um, you gotta have X amount of people. You can, I started mine just out of spare. Um, look, $20 here, $30 there. Save up by a camera, save up by another part. Um, don't be afraid to just jump out there and try it. If it's something you wanna do, you know, just go ahead and do it. I mean, the worst can happen is you change and adjust and try it in a different way. But don't be scared to try it. Don't let other people tell you that you can't try. Um, and I think my second piece of advice is um, don't undervalue yourself. When someone goes to Mercedes and they ask to buy a Mercedes, you can't hit them with like, yo, man, give me the hookup price. They don't, they're not going to give it to you. Mm-hmm. They're not going to lower their standards. So don't expect... Especially people, I think people go to black businesses as black patrons and expect the hookup. But you don't go to Walmart and expect the hookup. So, you know, the price is the price. Don't undervalue yourself. Don't let nobody talk you out of your price. Yes. That's real talk. Thank you so much. It's been an honor talking to you, Sean. I uh, appreciate you stepping out your comfort zone and coming on live with me today. And um, this is kind of out of, well, it's not out of my comfort zone, but it's just something new for the podcast. Okay. So um, I did record. So the, now we got to flip it though. Now you got to come on mine. I will. I certainly will. That's right. We'll get that scheduled. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Um, Let me acknowledge everybody that came on the live. Uh, Lively Stone 13. Thank you. Tracy Gray 1069. We got Goddess. Okay. Hey, homegirl. Uh, Goddess Kimmet first. Urban Urban Grind Magazine. She's one of our winners of the Women Women of Worth uh, giveaway. So that was, she's one of our winners actually. Uh, We have Midwest Saloon. Fox eighty Fox thirty eight Sierra Davis ninety four. Thanks for showing up. Who else we got? We got Diego Jetson. Diego Jetson. Oh, that's still a cousin. What's up, cuz? Hey, <laughs> TK Chiduma. Lavish me lad, lavish me designs. We have skin deep hygiene care. Mr. Boke Sr. Thank you. Okay. We got, uh, let's see. Mr. Boke Sr. said that. Um, Nicole, Nicole Closet Fine 20. We have Unreal Talk Podcast. It's Manny. Thank you to It's Jalen. Oh, that's the daughter. Oh, hey, daughter. She's supposed to be in class right now. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't get busted now. <laughs> this is Bay. Thank you for your support. Uh, Lash Teak Boutique. Sister Chris. Sister Chris just got her um, juicing um, cert- certificate. So, congratulations to you, Sister Chris. SNJ Nation. And that's the boy. He needs to have his butt in class, too. <laughs> they want to see their daddy on live. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you for tuning in. This podcast is going to go on to um, Anchor and Apple Podcasts and Spotify. So in the future, the episode will be um, be streaming everywhere that you listen to your podcast. I do want to acknowledge my sponsors. I want to thank Omnia and PG Prestige Global. Um, go ahead out there and get your um, Omnia radiation balancers from me. I, click the link in my bio. Want to acknowledge Amber Bookstore. You can if you you're a reader. Um, Amber Bookstore sells all kinds of Black history books and children's books and all kinds of books for Blacks. And so that's AmberBookstores.com. Also, um, thank you to our sponsor. Um, Sunshine, Tamara Johnson, and Xavier um, John- Xavier Bannister. Um, they are with Primerica. 
um, connect. You can connect with me if you need some life insurance. I'll get you her number to you. Get her number to you. And I uh, want to thank our other last sponsor, um, Andrea Rich Andrea Richardson of Womb Care Woman. Um, so for your full spectra doula services, contact Womb Care Woman. So it's been a pleasure talking to you, Sean. Um, thank you so much. And um, we will be, y'all stay tuned. I'll be on his podcast soon, 757 Renaissance Man. Thank you for having me. It was an honor. You're welcome. Thank you. Peace and blessings. Peace. Thank you, Independent Thought Podcast, for leaving your review. It says, news that doesn't sing the blues. Wasn't sure what to expect when I clicked on the episode, but I ended up loving it. I love her vibe and the way she breaks everything down. Definitely take the time to check this out. Thank you so much, Independent Thought Podcast. And go go ahead and find Independent Thought Podcast and check them out. Thank you so much for the five-star rating and the review on Apple Podcasts. Your podcast reviews help us to be discovered by more like-minded people like yourself. So it's really helpful if you leave one. Please leave a review today. Thank you. Check this out. Yo, 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 yo. Them beats is popping. Ah. Check, 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 check this out. Check this out. St. Louis' very own hit record release. Love songs. 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 Love Thank you so much to all of our financial supporters of A News You Can Use podcast. I ask that you consider buying me a coffee or becoming a patron of A News You Can Use podcast. Um, What your support does is it helps me to continue to make, produce and publish episodes, and it's helping me to level up, um, to buy equipment for the podcast, like microphones and um, different software that is needed to edit the podcast and make it sound better for you. So I appreciate appreciate it if you please buy me a coffee. Or become a patron. Or you can donate directly through the Anchor FM app. And if you um, give $9.99 per month, I'll receive a higher percentage of your donation. I really appreciate you. Thank you. The links are in the show notes. Peace and blessings. Free your mind while it's time. What's up with that? I got one thing on my mind. Revolution. Yo, that's Fame Road you going by. Please make me die a thousand deaths in a day, and then I won't jump in the front while you're down for the good time. Put it down for the good time. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Shalom, shalom. Hotel. Yeah, MIDT Records. Hey, B&B Production. Penis hot and top. Rhythmic sign. Love to rap. Yo, you check it out. Check it out. All your Just local neighborhood stories. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of a News You Can Use podcast with Frenchier Gardner. Your host and creator of the podcast. We are so grateful that you are tuning in wherever you are in the world. Please, please, please make sure you are sharing the podcast with your friends and family. At least send it out to about five people at least. 
follow us if you're listening to us on Spotify so that you'll be notified of the next episodes. Add us to your um, podcast list on Apple Podcasts and leave us a review. Leaving us a review really helps us out a lot. It helps us to be discovered by more people like you where this information resonates. Purchase Friendshare Gardener's books. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy, Do You Still Love Me Anymore? is available on, pa- on paperback and ebook on Amazon. For signed copies, go to our website. Finding Joy in the Journey Volume 2 is available on our website. And the audiobook, Single Save Struggle, The Struggle Continues, is available on our website. You can also purchase our brands that we've designed with our paintings on our websites, notebooks, shower curtains, prints of the paintings. Pillows, buttons, phone case for iPhones and and Android phones. Handbags. Or rather, tote bags. All designed with French Air's abstract paintings. They are available on Threadless and Teespring. The list, the music playing in the background is by French Air Gardner. You can cop her album or just get one of the singles that you really enjoy on Amazon Music and Apple Music. You can also listen to the album Supernova Universe by French Hair Gardner on Spotify and SoundCloud. We really appreciate your support. Your financial donations are definitely needed to sustain production of the episodes and the podcast, continue creating episodes for purchasing equipment that's needed to run the podcast, to hire editors. So if this episode resonated with you, please consider donating by becoming a patron, by buying me a coffee, by sending us funds through PayPal, paypal paypal.me forward slash French Air, that's F-R-E-N-C-H-A-I-R-E, or through Cash App, dollar sign B. E A N D U S L L C. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you tap in with our sponsors, Amber Bookstore and Omnia Balance Radiation.